We know that the universe is expanding, we see that galaxies are moving away from us, and we also know that it doesn't matter which galaxy that you're observing from, you could be in the Milky Way or a galaxy 5, 10 uh, billion light years away, and you'd notice the same thing. All other galaxies are expanding away from all the others. So the universe is expanding, and as it expands it creates more space-time, and there are aspects of the universe that we think we understand. The fact that it is, uh, that is, that it is expanding, that it had a moment in time when it started uh, its expansion, that the overall structure of the universe is such that its geometry is flat, that we think it's infinite in size, and that it doesn't have any edge, that you'd never find an edge to the universe. An analogy for the expansion that you often hear about is what we call the balloon analogy. And this is where you have a balloon that expands. And on the balloon, there are uh, dots that represent galaxies. I like to think of this as being pieces of felt that you've glued onto the surface of the balloon rather than taking a Sharpie and drawing dots on there. Because remember, we want to have uh, galaxies that don't get larger over time. And so if you glue a piece of paper or a piece of felt onto the surface of the balloon when you blow it up, those quote-unquote galaxies don't get larger. But let's talk some more about the balloon analogy. As the balloon expands, the uh, pieces of felt or the pieces of paper get further away from each other, and so that's just like the real universe where every location is moving away from every other location. But in order to understand the balloon analogy well, we have to establish that everything in the universe and the universe itself exists on the surface of the balloon in this model, in this analogy. And so we're ignoring the inside and the outside of the balloon because in our real universe, it doesn't make sense to talk about something that's outside of the universe. There doesn't have to be something outside the universe and so we just ignore the outside of the balloon. We also ignore the inside of the balloon because that also is nonsensical if you were to try to transfer that from the analogy into the real universe. So as the balloon expands, we notice that the uh, quote-unquote galaxies get farther apart from each other. And there's a couple other good aspects of the balloon analogy. Its surface stretches, it expands, if you were a being that existed on the surface of the balloon, you would never find an edge, and you'd never find a center to that surface. And so that's just like our real universe. However, there are some drawbacks to this analogy. One is that the balloon has a surface that is curved in on itself. And as far as we know, our universe has a geometry that is essentially flat, that it's not curved, it's not positively curved or negatively curved. Also, the balloon analogy only has two spatial dimensions on the surface, left and right and front, front and back if you wanted to say that. Also, it's moving through one time dimension, moving forward. If you added those together, the balloon analogy only represents three dimensions of space-time. But our real universe has three spatial dimensions and one time dimension, so four dimensions. So the balloon analogy is just that. It's only an analogy. It's only a model that helps you visualize some aspects of our real universe.